Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. As usual, here's another woman saying that she left her man, who she admits was a good man, because he wasn't good enough. Make sure you stick around. I'm going to tell you why she really decided to get rid of him. But it's not something that she's saying out loud. So I've been made aware that the last couple of weeks that the males have hated my video that I was talking about my breakup and I was saying I broke up with my boyfriend, but he was a good guy, treated me well, but he was not my husband, so we broke up. They had a problem with that because basically what they're saying is good enough should be good enough. But let me tell you one thing, good enough was never good enough for me. I live my life on 10 with everything that I do. I'm not going to look at something that's good and think that it's husband because here, here, here's what it is. Good enough is right here. This is a good boyfriend. This is a husband. A lot of y'all date men that are in the gutter. And clearly the man that you were dating was not in the gutter. Yet and still, you let him go. Now, you've heard the saying that good guys always finish last. Well, that's not true unless you're dealing with the wrong type of woman. But let me play you this video of the same woman telling us the real reason why she let him go. Pay attention. I can't date somebody that has social media unless you're making money off of it, which most men are not. Let's just keep yeah, it real. Not, like most not, men are yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, most people aren't. Um, why are you on media? social media? For the same reason that millions of other people who don't make money on social media watching videos. Okay, so what about the person that looks at social media as like, okay, if you're following like things that inspire you, things to give you ideas. To oh, help, please. Help the average man isn't following though. inspirational quote pages. Now, there are so many different types of videos on social media other than watching videos of women that the average man watches. There's videos about car crashes, videos about animals in the wild attacking each other, videos of hurricanes and floods. If she's worried about the time that he's watching videos of women, that simply means that she's insecure. I asked my boyfriend to delete his social media. Was he using to make money? No, he was not. He just had social media because everybody has a Facebook, everybody has an Instagram, so okay. he just had them. And I was like, there's no reason for you to have them. Go ahead and delete that for me. Delete it? Yeah. And I was like, there's no reason for you to have them. Go ahead and delete that for me. Delete it? Yeah. And that is why she dumped him. She doesn't respect him. She asked him to delete his social media, and he did it. Why in the hell would you delete all of your social media that almost everybody else in the world has for entertainment? Because your girlfriend asked you to? That's insane. And that's also what we refer to as a simp. For all you young guys out there or any guy out there who doesn't know any better, you don't do anything a woman asks you to do unless it benefits you. How does you deleting your social media pages benefit you? This is where most good guys mess up. When she asked him to delete his social media pages, he should have simply said no. She dumped him because she doesn't respect him and because she realizes he'll do anything that she asks him to do which means she knows she can walk all over him. Oh, wow. He lucky I let him keep his LinkedIn. Oh, wow. He lucky I let him keep his LinkedIn. He's lucky I let him keep his LinkedIn. Look at her face. She's smiling because it's funny to her because she could treat him like this, you know, like he's her son. She's saying it like if he doesn't do it, she can make him do it because she has some type of authority over him. Well, I, I could see why a woman would want their man to delete social media just because of that, because, you know, flesh and temptation is real. Flesh and temptation is everywhere, not just on social media. You can get distracted in real life. I, I don't I don't think that social media brings any more real life distraction than real life. Yeah. I just believe that it's easy to get caught up in a fallacy. Like it's social media sometimes is your imagination. If you got me in front of you, you don't got to imagine about nothing else. Go ahead and delete that. And this is the perfect example of why you don't take instructions or directions from these modern day women. He followed her instructions and deleted his social media, and right afterwards, she got rid of him. Now he has to open all his social media again and send out friend requests to try to get his accounts back where they were before he closed them. Interesting thing happened. I went back to her TikTok page to try to find the original video when she was talking about how good of a guy he was and how he made her level up, but she deleted the video. I wonder why. I'm guessing because the public went in her comment section and told her how idiotic she was sounding. She couldn't take it, so she removed the video. But here's a guy who's speaking on what she said in that video. In the video she had made, she had said um, the guy that she broke up with was good, and he even raised her standards. And she did in fact say it in the original video, but I didn't get a copy before she took it down. Now here's another reason why she broke up with him because she knows on social media there are many content creators like myself who are making videos like this one 
that you're watching right now telling men you don't have to put up with these women and their nonsense. The last thing she wants is for him to start watching videos letting him know that he shouldn't be putting up with her mess and now she can't control him the way she wants to. But if you're paying attention, this is a catch-22. She wanted him because he was a good guy. But on the other hand, she doesn't want him because he's a good guy. Because she knows she can walk all over him. I know, it's confusing, but most of these modern women are confused. And here's one more point I'd like to make about why she got rid of him. Listen, what kills me about people that think like this, bro, it'll never be enough for them. These type of women, they want Jesus Christ. They want, listen, you could walk on water, bro, and it still won't be enough. I'm telling you, you can give them the whole world, bro, it will never be enough. Simply because they have that mindset of, oh, there's always better. This is not good enough for me. It's ridiculous, bro. And he's absolutely right. These are the type of women who will never be satisfied because they always think they can do better, even if they got the man that is the cream of the crop. And this is exactly why you don't follow women. Fellas, a woman is to be on your program, not the other way around. Now, of course, your program has to make sense. You need to be making financial decisions based on theories that have been proven to work over the test of time. Live your life below your means, pay your bills on time, and don't spend money on nonsense. And when it's time to make tough decisions about things you're not familiar with, follow the Bible's advice, Proverbs 11:14. In the multitude of counsel, there is safety. Ask people who are professionals in whatever situation you're in on how to resolve that issue so that you minimize your mistakes. Treat people with the same respect that you expect them to give you and help others whenever you can because you never know when one day you're going to need help yourself. And as I leave you, I want to leave you with this one tip on how to know if a woman is like this woman in this video. If she's asking you to do something that you don't benefit from and you tell her no, you're not going to do it and she keeps trying to persuade you to do it anyway, she's not the one. Now, before I let you go, I'm going to predict our future. Comes in waves. Most of the time, I'm okay. And then it comes and hits me like nobody's business. And honestly, I've been feeling like this a lot lately. It is love. I am, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing it myself. I'm tired of being alone. I want to share my life with someone. I am just freaking tired. It's not about being lonely, so I just want some somebody. No, I want to be in love. I want to share my life with someone. I want to feel the joys. I want to feel, have my hands held. I want to be held. I want to kiss. I want to support. I want to make coffee with that person. I want, I want my person. I want my person. Why is it so hard to find your person? Hey. Somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. I'll see you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.